to use the Magic AWBS2, you can easily select the source with the remote by pressing the source button. Once the source is selected, you may begin using the software. Or you can use source button on the pen tray. The screen you see now is default screen. If you wish to change the background, you may do so by selecting the setting menu on the lower right of the screen. As you can see, you may customize the texture as well as setting images as the background. If you wish to open content from internal or external storage, you may select the source from the content browser. Also, the history browser allows you to select your previous content based on your history. After selecting your image, audio, video, and document from the content browser, you may view these documents through the viewer. For documents, you can even take notes on the document itself through the viewer. Let's take a closer look at how to use the whiteboard. All the essential functions when using the whiteboard are in the floating menu. You can select the eraser option to erase. Or you can use your hand and eraser without selecting the eraser option. Using the page manager on the left of the display, you can create, delete, and navigate pages. The most powerful feature of the Magic AWS 2 are drawing on any source and drawing on PIP. These features allow you to select content from an external source on the whiteboard and draw on it if the content were in the whiteboard. If you wish, you can even display the external content in a PIP window and draw on it as well. You can connect your PC to the board and on the page manager, you can easily open it make annotations and with your hand you can just erase also you can continue your presentation right away if you want to take it off just select again the PIP source and turn it off Users can share content with others after installing the Magic IWB Agent on their devices. Once Magic IWB Agent been pre-installed the portable devices or PC, users can share the content. It can be images or office files. And on the eboard, user can easily open it and share back to portable devices or PC. We're choosing the user and sending. Now, I've got the image on my portable device. You can easily capture emitting notes from the screen button and it instantly captures and you can open wide or there is another method by gesture just making a circle you can have your screen captured on top of your whiteboard as well if you wish you can easily send to all attendees your meeting notes 
We have to capture the screen and after that send the email and where to send. Until now, we have discussed the Magic IWBS2, Samsung's powerful proprietary embedded software.